come up here in just a little bit, or you come up in just a little bit, to do the Advent Brief program they're going to do. But before that, I have to say a few words about Isaiah. Isaiah this morning points to the coming of the Messiah. Isaiah points to the coming of the baby that we wait for in the manger. Isaiah points to something that's going to come to change the world. And Isaiah points to you. Did you hear what God said to you this morning? I am the Lord, I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations. To open the eyes that are blind, so to bring out prisoners from the dungeon and from prison those who sit in darkness. You see, God doesn't just say this about Jesus. God is saying this to each and every one of us. Because each and every one of us is called not to be redeemed for ourselves, but to be redeemed for the world. God calls each and every one of us not to be a light for ourselves, but to be a light for the world. You see, there's so many times in this, in this life where times of struggle come, where we wonder why things happen or why we've done the things that we've done. In our life, we do things sometimes that hurt other people. And in our life, sometimes we do things that cause calamities for others. But a wise person told me this past week, this very thing that I have written down here on this piece of paper. I have to read it so I don't forget it. Sometimes when things happen in life, we get so hung up on the things that we've done to cause problems for others. And we don't see the light that God has placed into each and every one of us. But this past week, some things happened and someone told me, Try not to look at how bad we might have messed things up, but let's look at how God might work through this. See, sometimes we get so hung up on where we're at and what's happening that we forget about who God is and what God has done for each and every one of us. God is not merely saying this about Jesus. God is saying this about you. Look, I am the Lord. I have called you by name. I have called you in righteousness, and I have taken you by the hand, and I have kept you. I've always been with you, and I always will. And I have filled you and made you to be a beacon of hope for the world and a light to the nations. So don't think that you're transformed just for yourself. You are transformed to be transforming in the world. So as we wait the coming of this baby, as we wait Christmas to get here, as we wait for what's going to happen... Remember that God chose you, and he needs you to go into the world and to bring light into the darkness. Do you want me to bring the kids up? If the kids could come up now, we're going to sing the song. Okay. 